In this question, we are told a news agent sells a Daily Bugle newspaper. You may assume that the daily demand for this newspaper is a Poisson distribution with mean 15. The news agent begins each day with 20 copies of the newspaper. So, first of all, we want to calculate the probability that, on a randomly chosen day, the news agent, news agent sells, first of all, exactly 12 copies of the newspaper. First thing to do, just remind yourself, in each of these questions, just distribute, uh, state your distribution. So let's say X represents the number of newspapers sold. This is going to be distributed with a Poisson distribution mean of 15. Okay, not every question you get a mark, but a lot of questions you do. Uh, so now let's ask, answer the question. We want to find probability that X is exactly equal to 12. So AI probability x is exactly equal to 12. You can use the tables in this question. I tend to use the formula for when it's exact values. Just keep practicing it because there are questions where it does ask you specifically to use the formula or you may be given values which means you're required to use the formula. So the formula means that we're going to do e to the power of minus the mean, so minus lambda, times by the mean, or lambda, which is 15, to the power of the value we're looking for, so that's 12, all over the value that we're looking for, which is 12 factorial. Okay, so when I type this into my calculator and evaluate it carefully all in one go, I get an answer of 0 0.083 to three decimal places. Okay, so how do I get my marks in this question? Well, first of all, I get a method mark for stating the correct use of the formula. Second of all, I get an accuracy mark for a correct answer stating my rounding. Okay, so let's have a look at part two of question part of question A. It says we want to find the probability of selling all copies of the newspaper. Now, I've got to be careful in this question because it's not actually the probability that x is equal to 20. The temptation would be to do that because in this actual real life situation you can only sell 20 copies of the newspaper but in a Poisson distribution remember that hypothetically you could go on to sell an infinite amount of newspapers. That might sound ridiculous and that some of the aspects of the theory of probability don't necessarily always make sense in real life but actually if we calculate just the probability of selling 20 copies that is not going to be correct. We need to know the probabilities uh, of 20 or higher. Okay, so we're going to do the probability of x greater than or equal to 20. Now the way we're going to do this is actually we're going to do 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to. Now we actually want to include the value 20 here. So that means I'm going to have to go up to 20 but not include it. So it's going to be x less than or equal to 19. Okay, so at this point I go and look at my tables to take a reading. From our table, we need to take a reading where the Poisson mean is 15. So if we look across the top row here, we can see that the Poisson mean 15 is this last column here. This means there's no need to rule down the edge with a piece of paper or a ruler to make sure I don't make any silly mistakes because I'm just coming to this end row. What I want to find the probability of is the probability x is less than or equal to 19. So coming down my table, here is x less than or equal to 19. So I'm just going to rule across. Now I'd usually be using a pencil, piece of paper, sorry, or a ruler to do this. I wouldn't write on my, actually on my tables, but I'm doing it so you can see clearly what I am taking as a reading. Here you can see that the reading I'm taking from my table is 0.8752. So from my tables, I have the reading now where I can do 1 minus 0.8752. And this thing gives me the answer 
four, eight. Okay, so uh, let's look at how we get the marks for this mark scheme. First of all, we're going to get a mark for actually stating just actually this bit here. Stating that we're looking not just at the probability of x equals 20, but x equals 20 or higher. Then we get an accuracy mark for our answer at the end here of 0.1248. In part B, it asks us to determine the minimum number of copies of the Daily Bugle that news agent should buy in each day in order to satisfy the demand of a probability of at least 0.9 now. Nine, nine. Now what we're asking here is actually, by buying 20 newspapers, we only satisfy demand 87.5% of the time. Okay, what this means is, actually, the newspaper agent could have more customers, potentially on this, uh, uh, based on the Poisson distribution, about 12.5% of the time, there will be more demand than the amount of newspapers they've bought. So they've bought 12 copies, but this remaining 12% would be 12.5% would be unsatisfied. So what we're looking to find is the probability that x is greater than or equal to x, where it's going to be bigger than 0.99. So that 99% of the time we are going to sell up to that amount of loose papers or less and not disappoint people. Okay, so I'm going to use my tables to find that reading. So for this part of the question, we're still working with a Poisson mean of 15. So I'm still working in this end column here. And I still don't need to rule down the edge of the paper because I've, we know it's the last column that I'm working in. What I'm doing this time, though, is I'm going to come down my column of probabilities, of cumulative probabilities, until actually we want a probability that is greater than 0.99. So here you can see we get a probability that is 0.9888 and then the first probability that is greater than 0.99 is this one here. So I'm just now going to carefully rule across again and you would be using a piece of paper, you wouldn't necessarily be drawing this onto the tables yourself, it's just so that you can see what I'm taking as a reading. And here you can see the, see the smallest number of newspapers I'd have to solve is 25. What I found out from the tables is that the number of newspapers required would be 25. And what this means was that 99% of the time we will have the number of newspapers required so that customers don't leave unsatisfied. So 1% of the time we would sell more, only 1% of the time would we sell more than 25 copies. Okay, so how would you get the marks in this question? Well, simply, just for this line here, you get both the method mark and the accuracy mark for stating that the number required is 25.